call the Cheyenne County Board of Commission meeting to order. We'll start with the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
personally would do something. Okay.
Okay. New shirts? Yes, we did. Oh. Yeah. We had um, Allison make them here in Taiwan um, with the cowgirl creation. Yeah, she did a great job. She designed them and everything. Bobcat on. I've been tearing apart a Jeep. <laughs> Make a motion to approve the minutes and the warrants. We're done with them. Yeah. What'd you say? Do you want to second it? Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes and warrants. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Leslie, did you have anything? I didn't have anything today. Okay. Let's go. Okay, work. Walk through the courthouse.
Oh, no. <laughs> no, don't say that. He wasn't here very long. Another one can find. You would have to find something. Yeah. Sells uh, benefit packages like um, okay. half lack. Okay. Just wanted to present something to you. for the primary election for the 15th at 1 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. So we do out far out for me. <laughs> <laughs> you said 1, right? 1 o'clock. Yes. Can you give anything else? Uh, here's what those fire trucks brought at auction. Francis one had a tank on it, so I don't know whether that made a difference, even though it wasn't running or what. So. I think it had to make a difference. They probably want those tanks on. Transportation van. Um, I would like to request that we get a carport to put out at the building out there, to put the van underneath. Uh, Mike was able to get quotes from Majestic Butterskin out there, and then I got, I got another set of quotes online. Uh, 
the one from Majestics, they come out and install them. The one online, somebody's going to have to install it. Don't we have to have that van indoors? With heated? <coughs> yeah. Just by lunch, say, say that. Yeah. 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 Bud said four to six, four to six weeks. Six weeks before they day of order, and he thought if it was ordered today, you could, he could get us ten percent off of it. But he wasn't for sure. It won't be up for the building. No, it'll be a separate deal. Three sides covered. And you guys are wanting the twelve foot height or the three yeah, sides are covered. Mm -hmm. Twelve foot height. One end will be open. So I think be open. Yeah. yeah, I think the twelve foot side walls would be better and. It's three anchors per side. They come with just a drive-in anchor, but he said the screw-in anchors are a lot better. And I think they're thirty dollars a piece. Okay. Are we going to have to run concrete to set it on? He said a lot of people do it just on a millings pad or a good gravel pad, just and level. anchor it down into the ground. <clears throat> just needs to be a level pad. The only thing we might want to do down there when we decide where we're going to put it, if we do it, is have them come out and do a locate because I know there's water lines, electrical line, and I'm not, I think the propane line runs really close to the building. But I know the wells to the west of there, probably 150 feet. Now that, that is out of the floodplain, right? Probably not. I don't know what the new They've redone the map, is. so I don't know where that is. Yeah, I started thinking about that. I think it's the best way because there's still mouse problems in the building. Um, the smell of the chemical, I think, is going to make get in that van, and people are going to complain about the chemical smell in the van. So I think this is the best way to. And they'll get out of your guys' hair. Okay. Can we move the van in there for now? Till. Till this is over, I mean, it, how can. long can it be? I can move all my stuff out. Well, you don't have to move it out. There's room for both in well, there. There is, but we have chemical in there that couldn't freeze from last year. Yeah, but that We're chemical. afraid of the smell. That chemical wouldn't get into the van that soon. I don't know. I can't honestly smell chemical. I'm around it so much. So, <laughs> but other people can. So I don't know on that. I, I can't give you an honest answer one way or the other. I mean, I open a jug when I smell it, but as far as walking in a building where it is, I can't smell it. I think the main thing is we've got to get that van out of the emergency building. That's been a long time, and that's what we bought the building for was for the van. Well, if there's a mouse problem, we don't want it in the building. I know we had confusion on who was calling Hinkles. I did call them Friday. They haven't called me back yet. I think another six weeks is going to matter as long as it's been up there. ones. The one, the sheet by Willie there is the one from but that's, that's still cheaper. Isn't it? Or is that, that's not Bud's. It's, right? Oh, this is Bud's. That's Bud's, but okay. it's going to be cheaper by the time you find somebody to install, put together and install that other one. Would you be okay with waiting for another six weeks of that? No. <laughs> I mean, we could get it out of there today. There's no chemical on the round top of the county shop. It's basically an empty building. There's tires, a welder. There'd be room to move it up there. The van? And we department pays half the insurance on that building, so we're, we're more than willing to move it up there if we need to for now. Someone's there at 720, usually have the gates open. They can get it out. I mean, we, they leave at five, so usually the van's back in by then. Some days it's not, but we can work around it. I mean, yeah, it's nobody, it'll be gone whenever anybody's there if they need tires or something, so it's, we can take it up there. If that's empty, what is the plan for it? Well, like the welder sits in there, my rig's still been being pulled in here with the trailer on it, 
there's tires, they've got their signs in there, um, some other miscellaneous parts, there's a pallet brake part and some other stuff. My understanding of the history on that is way back is the fair rides used to go in there a long time ago before they started keeping them out there and then the weed department kind of used it. Okay. Dave would use it. They parked one service truck in there for a while. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in the winter they'll put the skid steer in there so it's inside if they need to move snow or something. So. Would our drivers be able to open those doors? Yeah, it's got a power door on it. You're talking about the airport? No, the county shop. The but county shop. shop. Yep. But it'll get it out of their hair. Yeah. And then, no, that'd be okay. fine. Move it up there. Are we no, going to be able to move it up there until we talk to Steve? Yeah, he's on. He's up next. He's where? He's, he's up, up next. next. Hmm. Are we going to be able to keep the mice out of it in, uh, in one of these buildings, too? I mean... I mean, you're just... it's. There's evidently just a problem down there. I, we're next to a pasture with six foot tall burned up weeds. I mean, we can yeah. have traps up. I don't know what else we can do right. other than have Hinkle service. I'm, I don't know if they come every month, every two weeks. It's every month. They have different plans. We can do whatever you guys want on that. I don't I don't know. I know we've had my spade out, and I find them dead all the time. Good. We'll throw you some bull snakes down there. No, nice. <laughs> <laughs> that would. Maybe that's why you don't have any mice because you still have snakes up to your building. For sure, for sure. It's taken care of. It. I honestly, I've never seen a snake on that lot down there. Believe it or not, I know. I'm sure. Now that I say that, there'll probably be one. Jinx <laughs> yourself, Maggie. So, if that was approved, does that come out of yours? Your fund? Say we should talk to Steve about putting it up there first. It's a county shop. Yeah. Is he available? He's he was in the office. I just can't understand why it's such a big issue right now. How many years has it been up there? What's another four weeks? Well, the whole idea was it was, it was supposed to be a temporary well, thing idea. to begin with. Well. And this building, that's what this building was supposed to be for. for right. Then. So I think we know why we haven't moved it yet, because of mice. Do you want to get Steve in here so we can get Yeah, the I, do you want to make a motion to the park? I, I, I don't know. They have to make a motion. I don't know. Or you want to talk to Steve? Probably just get no, Steve. No, we can buy the carport. I'm just concerned about why all of a sudden such a big damn issue to get it off and out of the building. It's been moving in and out of there for how many years? And all of a sudden we got to get it out of there and move it to a different spot. I'm sorry, we bought the building. It wasn't big enough to do what we thought it was going to do. Now we need to put a carport up. We're going to put a carport up. But there's no reason to move that van until we're ready to move it. Sorry. It's my feeling. I think my, my issue with it is, is that it impedes the job we do. Like when we got in touch with the Kansas Board of EMS about it, they just said, you shouldn't be parking any public vehicles in an emergency building. The thing is, we have to, there's times that when we have to take everything out of there, we actually have to move the van just to get our stuff out. There's been times we've sat it out in a hailstorm because we don't have the time to pull it back in because we have an emergency. And so, yeah, it's just kind of got to the point it has caused a lot of issues with our crews having to move stuff. You know, we have a we have a timeline that we have to be out of that building and to whatever, wherever we're going. And it, it just, it does, it causes a delay, it causes an issue. 
it's just kind of in the way, especially for an emergency building. Right. If it was a regular building, I could understand, but it's we're in and out of there all the time. And during the week when it's out and about, it's fine. It's at night and it's on the weekends and it's when it comes back early. It's just, it's kind of just in a bad spot. Which it's been in a bad spot for two years. What's another month? Well, we kept, we kept hearing that it was going to be moved. So we have been waiting, hopefully. And if we wouldn't have bought the building, we never would have moved it. trying to make an effort and now all of a sudden it's a big issue we got to move it it's not a big issue yes you think it is but it's not it's been getting along fine the way it is we don't need to move it around here and there I move we buy the carport from Butters and have it installed if it doesn't have to be locked, I mean, if it just has to be locked and it doesn't have to be inside, could it just be outside of our building? I mean, if that is the, if it doesn't have to be inside, then could it just be outside of the building? Oh, I was always told it had to be inside of a locked building or a locked gate. Well, That's Scotty what I've been There's told. in the parking lot of the courthouse. Yeah, <laughs> from what I've... <laughs> they've changed it it didn't have to be locked in a locked place but it used to have to be right I never had heard anything since then but I would prefer it covered right now so it doesn't get hailed on I right, move it where you guys want to move it I could care less I guess <laughs> I would like to. I think we talk to Steve and see see about moving it up there. Steve but we'll I, I think we should go ahead and move it. But on the other hand, I think I'll second your motion to buy the Butts building. Is that the one for five thousand two hundred and forty-five dollars? The bigger one. Yes. yes. And did you follow? Yes, yeah, second. It's been moved and seconded to purchase a. I didn't write the dimensions down. Uh, it's 12 by, it's 18 by 20 by 12 foot. I 18 by 20. 18 by 20 by 12 foot for 52.45 installed. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed. So the price of the anchors is not in that quote. They're $30 a piece. So How many? Better. Is it going to take four? Or? Three per side, he said. And not only that, we're going to have... Uh, so million, some type of yeah, anything. so we'll have to, I think the county's out, I'll have to see if I can get Dan to let us have seven or eight loads to build a pad. That oh, oh no. I know. <coughs> that or we use crushed concrete, but I think the millings are a lot easier on tires than that crushed yeah. concrete. Hi, Steve. Oh, you can Hi. sit here, there, over well, anyway. But you're talking about the millings and the concrete, what? It's not so like we have to try concrete at that landfill. Yeah, but it, that's what I'm saying. It wouldn't matter if, if it's millings or crushed concrete. I don't know how tight that is. Millings will pack in pretty tight and make a better base, in my opinion, than the crushed concrete. It stays a little loose. That's what we put on our parking lot and then put diesel on it. it Steve, we have, have a conversation going where we're trying to figure out if we can put the transportation van up in what building? The round top. The round top for like four weeks where we're waiting for a, a building. Yeah. Oh, okay. What, uh, what we're waiting for a... Uh, the shop building? Or the no, the, the other one, the one we split. The silver one. The week, yeah. yeah. Uh, It'd be a temporary yeah, yeah, basis. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The problem with that. I'd be good if we're going to do that then, if we're going to be able to get it out of there. Get it out of your guys' hair. And it, but it won't be a problem, right? No. Okay. Um, just getting in the morning, I mean, it's just, well, we usually open it up. And yeah, we'll usually eight or a little bit before they, yeah, they, before they get it. Uh, sometimes they're after five, so we'll have to do some something thinking about that. Usually it's, they're not, it's just occasional. Can we set it up so they let me know? Yeah. They'll no, text me. That, that's fine, just as long as we get a message from them. Yeah. 
to oh. leave the gate open. I go back later and Me close too, it. and I can wrap and lock the gate too. Okay. To make it work. I think we're talking more like six weeks than four weeks. Six weeks. Four to six. That's for six. Okay. Just yeah. wanted to make sure. Well, it should be plenty of room, I think. All that's in there is a welder and what little bit I have in there, just tires and stuff. So. Keys are usually left in it or in case we needed to move yeah. for some reason. Yeah. And then also in the van, we probably have to put a heater on it with for, for electrical for the winter. Oh, uh, yeah, electric electrical okay. going to the the lean to or whatever. I think so. Down. Mm, four. Doesn't have a block heater or anything, so we no, just get that. Okay. Gas. Well, then that's it. We're going to go ahead and move it over there then. Okay. Temporarily. Temporarily. Okay. Okay. You can just, I think you can. Can I stick around? Yeah, I think so. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Steve. We can get him in, right? Yeah, well, we need a motion on the carport. We already made one. It did it. <coughs> For how much? $5,245, but that's. That's not including anchors. So That's 180 for anchors. I would say not to go over 5,800. It's going to be below that, but just in case. Well, we'll send the original motion. We'll just make, make an another motion to get not the anchors. Exceed. Okay. I move we purchase a carport from Majestic for plus whatever the price was plus anchors. Not to exceed 5,800. Not to exceed 5,800. Second. It's been moved and seconded to purchase the still bu uh, building from Butterskin with six anchors, not to exceed 5,800. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. You're up. Good weekend. Yeah, good. Warm. <laughs> Especially when you're in a U-Haul van. Oh, heavens. I've been there, done that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Just had a few items. Uh, the first one was going to be uh, an amendment, is what I'm calling it. Uh, this is for the off 12 bridge we just did up okay. on road 11. Um, this is, has to do with the removal of a, another bridge. Uh, we. The original, my understanding was that we were going to use the low water crossing in this, but it was another location was put down on the application. Uh, but it never did get registered as far as being removed, and we did the low water. So we were able to get that on the, changed on the application and on the, on the bridge that we did. Uh, but KDOT, I think they do want us to have uh, signatures on indicating.